Today we're going to build this awesome ring box out of a walnut log using minimal tools and get it done in one day. Here we go. Like my last video, it's wedding season and a friend of mine's getting married and they want a ring bearer box. So this is a box we're going to make out of a walnut log from a tree I cut down. I actually have a bunch of slabs over on my website if you want to go check those out. It's going to be a really simple project. We're going to release just a piece of this log. We're going to do a few steps, then release the lid, clear out some waste, and then put some foam and felt on the inside. It's going to have magnets to latch it and a brass rod, which will be the hinge. So let me show you how we do this. Now that we've got this completely cleaned up, it's a little big, uh, so we're gonna end up cutting off some more at the end, but it's a little bit easier to work with when it's bigger. So what I've done is I've identified a center line, and it's approximate, because it's not a completely round shape. I've measured in an inch on each side of my center line. I'm gonna start with a locating drill bit. This is a very small drill bit uh, where I'm gonna drill down as far as I can, and that's gonna help me locate all the holes once I release the lid. It's really important that you do this because once you release the lid, there's gonna be no way to get it back perfectly the way it was without location holes. So we're gonna drill location holes up here, and then I have some eight millimeter brass rods. I'm gonna drill down a little ways with the eight millimeter bit on the magnet side so that we can cut off a little piece and inlay it to cover up the hole. And then on the side where the hinge is gonna be, I'm gonna drill down pretty far, and that's gonna be where the brass rod goes in. We'll epoxy it into the lid only so that the lid can freely rotate. Then once we've drilled all our holes, we're gonna go over the bandsaw, release the lid, and clear out our waste. So we'll get started on the drill press. Here we go. Now that we've got our magnets in, they work great, we're gonna turn our attention to the brass rod. We're gonna stick it in all the way here. And then trim it off and then we'll epoxy it in. Don't worry, this is an old saw. Then, same thing over here. Stick it in all the way. And this one I'm gonna trim a little bit higher just because we want a little bit of room to cut it. So I'm just gonna mark it. I want it. <clears throat> now we're gonna get some five minute epoxy and put them in. Now I'm only gonna put it in the top of the hole because I don't want to get epoxy on the inside of the box. So I'm just spreading it from the top so we don't get any squeeze out on the inside. And then we're gonna take this. Here we go. 
and just pound it all the way down. That way it's just sticking out the top. Now very carefully, I'm gonna put this somewhere that won't push it out. Okay, so we'll let that dry. Okay, uh, our lid is drying, we're almost done. What we're gonna do now is create a pillow with some ribbon to hold the rings. And I couldn't find any stuffing, so unfortunately this graduation owl is about to get it. We're gonna take the stuffing from him, use this red felt and wrap ribbon around it, and then when they get married, they can tie the rings to it. Okay, to kind of keep that live edge appearance and have sort of an old tool look, a uh, hand tool look, I'm gonna go around it with a hand plane before we sand. Just go ahead and kind of make it look nice and rustic. And I'm making sure to clamp the box to keep it aligned. Okay, we're just about done. We just have some final sanding to do. I'm polishing my brass with some high grit sandpaper, hitting the outside with some 220. Then we're gonna go ahead and spray some shellac. So let's go. All right, thanks everybody for watching. This came out beautiful. The uh, the magnet works perfect. The hinge works great. It latches perfectly co-centric with the box. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with how it came out. This only took me a day to build. Check me out on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I read all your comments. I really enjoy them and they mean a lot to me. So thanks so much and have a wonderful day.